In this video we are going to learn how to add thermal paste to your laptop. First we need to open the laptop. So I am going to just take out the screws of the laptop. So if you are wondering what's the advantage of applying thermal paste onto your CPU and GPU is that it can reduce the temperature on your CPU and on your graphics card when you apply thermal paste properly onto your CPU and graphics card the temperature that it produces will be reduced slightly so that uh, the fan spinning sound will reduce and also improve the efficiency of the total system without heating up the motherboard and all the other components so we always need to apply this thermal paste uh, at least once in a year or two year whichever is easier for you and always monitor your processes temperature uh, with some tools for example why I thought about doing this is because when I was playing GTA 5 I noticed that my temperature is getting up to 91 degree centigrade that is the main reason why I thought about applying thermal paste to my laptop it is really easy uh, for you to do only thing you need to know is how to open your laptop if you are using the same laptop as me you can follow the process or if you don't know how to open your specific laptop you can refer to some other video that opens up your laptop so that you can just get into the portion of uh, where the CPU and GPU is located once you get there you just need to take out uh, the CPU heatsink and apply the paste so it's really easy anybody can do it all you need to know is to get to the GPU and APU portion of your laptop now that we have opened up my laptop you can see there are four screws that is holding the CPU and two screws holding the GPU all we need to do is take out those screws uh, and then just take off the now I have removed all the four screws from the CPU now I am going to remove just the balance two screws now just take it out gently without bending the heat sink if you bend it it will damage so be really careful when handling it now what we need is to remove the old thermal paste there and there on the GPU and CPU for that we just need an earbud and isopropyl alcohol once you dip it the isopropyl alcohol to the earbud you can just start rubbing of the old thermal paste on the top of the CPU like shown in this video just gently rub off the old residues from the CPU top make sure that you are not leaving behind anything any of those small threads from the um, earbuds make sure that it's absolutely clean so if you have anything just make sure it's really clean because that can affect the performance of your CPUs so always make sure you don't leave anything on top of the CPU and be careful not to touch or bend 
another components now i am cleaning the gpu of my uh, laptop that is how it looks and there also will need to apply the thermal paste so i am just gently rubbing off whatever it was there earlier so that i can apply my new thermal paste onto the top of that cpu this is only the tedious portion where you need to rub off the old thermal paste just simply rub it off like it's shown in the video don't use anything else don't use water or anything like that it can fry the circuits only use isopropyl alcohol or alcohol based cleaning solutions now that our cpu and gpu is clean we need to clean the heat sink so i am pour pouring a little bit of um, cleaning solution to the earbuds and rubbing the heat sink for any old residue just keep rubbing till there is nothing left of the old thermal paste so that we can apply the new one also if there is any dust particles on the heat sink please remove that also just blow through the heat sink to clear it off now i am just about to apply the thermal paste on to the gpu it's only 200 uh, to 50 rupees i got it from amazon just take the cap off and just push it through the syringe we only just need a small drop we don't even want to spread it just a small drop is enough and and small drop to the gpu also that's it so don't do anything else we don't need any air bubbles in between so just close it off once you apply i have little extra there so i am just going to clean that up from the gpu with the earbuds now that it's applied i am going to close it now all we know need is to apply the old screws there are four screws that hold the cpu the cpu to the sink so one two Three third screw and that is the final screw for the GPU we just need two more screws to keep the GPU in place that is the two screws for GPU 
and that's it we have completed the process of applying thermal paste as you can see it's simple all you need is one thermal paste and isopropyl alcohol if you don't know from where to get it i will include it in the description if you like the video please share and subscribe